the church. The church to many people nowadays seems to be more of a community centre. They go to church to catch up with friends, to sing music that reminds them of when they were younger, to have a nice chat and tea and coffee after the service. None of this is what church is supposed to be about. Preparation for coming to church is also something that needs to be addressed in so many cases. In many churches you'll have people turn up late for the service. When the service is about to start, people are chatting to their friends. And the person leading the service has to ask people to be quiet. But again, what on earth is going on? Why has there been no ministry talking about such things? When people go to see, for example, the Queen of England, they get their hair done, they make sure that they're wearing nice clothing, they make sure that their attitude is right, they make sure they prepare. They're going to meet the Queen of England. But when you go to church, you're going to meet the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And yet the preparation is far less than it would be if you were going to meet the Queen of England. That's not good. That needs to be addressed because preparation is the forerunner to what's going to happen later. They talk about perfect practice, but perfect preparation comes before perfect practice. And if your preparation isn't there, if you're coming to church not expecting to meet the King of Kings, the chances that you're going to meet the King of Kings is incredibly low. The thing that's missing in church, in many churches certainly nowadays, is reverence. There doesn't seem to be any reverence anymore. When you go to church, as I said earlier, you're meeting the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Reverence is what's needed. If you have reverence, then maybe your praise and worship is not going to be about the good old days. Maybe it's going to be about worshipping the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Maybe your ministry would be better. Maybe it would be more inspirational. Maybe it won't be a people-pleasing ministry, but a God-pleasing ministry. So people-pleasing ministries, what are they? But they're the sort of ministries where, and the sort of message where people come up afterwards and say, that was a lovely message. I really enjoyed that. Messages where they're in three or four stages where they're nice, they're biblical-ish. Sometimes they, they can contradict themselves, but generally speaking they don't. They're solid-ish, but they're not really challenging. They're not really going to change anyone's lives. They're not really going to inspire somebody to go out and do anything marvellous. They're just messages to fluff up the congregation, to make the people in the congregation feel good about themselves. Most of those people in the congregation are struggling in their Christian walk. So what they don't need when they go to church is messages that make them feel good about themselves. They, want, they need messages that are going to help them to deal with the things in their lives. They're going to help them to get closer to God, to get a better relationship with God, to get, to get closer to the people that God has called them to be. That's what the messages are supposed to be. But we've got to get leadership right as well. And leadership has been a lot of the issue. I've been in churches where the pastor stroke leader, well really leader, it was called to evangelism. But was being disobedient to God and not working as an evangelist. And so he was a pastor of his church, but of course his church never moved forward. 
I've been in other churches where they pretty much worship the leader, where the leader didn't have any accountability whatsoever. Now that church ended up losing the leader and losing the leader of the worship team because they both did things that were highly sinful while in positions of leadership because there was no accountability. We've got to get accountable. These people who are leading the church, at best, they're Christians doing what God has called them to be. That's it. They're not above you. Their position is not above yours. If you're in ministry, their position is equal to yours. If you're not in ministry, but need to be, then they should be helping you to get into ministry. So hold them accountable. For their sakes as well as yours. The church needs to be relevant in its community. And if you look around your community, you'll notice in so many cases, the church is not relevant in any way, shape or form to its community. They're not going out. They're too inward looking. That's not what church is about. You're not supposed to be inward looking. More focused on bums and seats than actually you know, what's going on in people's lives. Get right with God. Churches are just as accountable to getting right with God as people are. Because God will collapse churches. If we're going to have a revival, there'd be an awful lot of churches that are going to miss it and will die. Or be replaced by something that's far much better. Leaders, you have to step up and lead. It is not the job of the people to lead the direction of the church. Get leadership from God. Be guided by the Holy Spirit and lead the church in the direction that God wants that church to go into. Anyone in your church who is not willing to follow that direction, they're more than welcome to leave your church and find a church that goes in the direction they want. Your responsibility as leaders of churches is to go in a direction that God wants your church to go into. Don't fall into the trap of trying to make the people in your, in your church happy. That isn't your job. If you're a leader, that isn't your job. And that's why in so many cases, pastors don't make good leaders. Because a pastor, the pastor's heart is a heart for the people. The pastor is concerned about the welfare and the happiness of the person. Whereas a leader should be concerned about the spiritual direction of that church. So in most cases, the understanding we have nowadays is that the pastor is the head of the church. That is not supposed to be the case. A pastor cannot successfully lead a church and pastor its congregation, especially if it's a reasonably big church. So that's a few things about church. You'll understand from listening that I am incredibly passionate about this. And so therefore, a lot of these subjects will be covered further in videos entitled things like ministry, and Christian conduct. There will be other videos to follow on this issue. Because it's such a big issue and it's an issue that impacts so many people's lives in a negative way when it should be impacting people's lives in such a positive way. Something to encourage. In Revelations, the Bible says the bride made herself ready. I think it's Revelations. But in the Bible, it says the bride made herself ready. The bride is the church. The church isn't ready yet, but the Bible says the bride made herself ready. So it's going to happen. God bless. Have a great week and weekend. Bye-bye.